my name is Krishan and I welcome you to my channel a lifetime gift as mentioned in my previous video August is National Breastfeeding Month so I wanted to highlight more books about breastfeeding this month and my first book that I wanted to highlight is we drink milk so let's jump right in we drink milk written by Nanda Gasparini and illustrated by Maggie Martinez All the little mammals drink milk from their mommies. In the garden, the little puppies snuggle with their mommy and drink her milk. In the jungle, the little monkey clings to his mommy and drinks her milk. In the eucalyptus tree, the little koala hugs her mommy and drinks her milk. In the river, the little manatee follows his mommy and drinks her milk. In the woods, the little bat hangs with his mommy and drinks her milk. In the savanna, the little giraffe stands below her mommy and drinks her milk. In the mountains, the little gorilla holds tight to her mommy and drinks her milk. In the ocean, the little whale swims next to her mommy and drinks her milk. In the den, the little pumas lie with their mommy and drink her milk. In the desert, the little camel nestles under his mommy and drinks her milk. In the snow, the little polar bears cuddle with their mommy and drink her milk. All the little mammals drink milk from their mommies. We drink milk from our mommies, too. Kids love animals. I can surely say my kids do, especially the younger two. And so when educating children about breastfeeding and mother's milk, I think it's such a great way to keep them engaged um, about what animals make milk and the fact that we also make milk and that we're mammals. You know, you know I shared, which I'll also link this in the description box, uh, the first book, Mama's Milk, I believe it's called, um, and it has kittens on the front, but that was the first book that I did share about breastfeeding where we talked about animals and, and what characteristics mammals have. Um, the And then the fact that one of those is that we make milk that we feed our young. And so I just think it's so important that children understand this and know this because it's natural. It's a natural thing that mammals do and we are mammals. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that the author shares a very nice note at the end of the story and i just wanted to share with the mothers it's four mothers and it's about of course breastfeeding and their breastfeeding journey dear mothers our bodies like those of mammals produce milk to feed our babies but breastfeeding is not always easy or without hiccups especially in the modern world surround yourself with love and support from family and friends, a lactation consultant or a breastfeeding group can be of great help in overcoming challenges. Each breastfeeding journey is unique. Find what works for you and your baby. I love this note that the author shares at the end. It's very encouraging, but it also gives some great advice as far as reaching out to lactation support if you need some help, but then also reaching out to support groups, which can be very, very helpful in a very sensitive time. You know, not even just with breastfeeding, but I just think the whole postpartum period of after having a baby and the feelings that you have and, you know, the, your, the way your body is trying to also um, heal from just giving birth. 
Um, and, and it's a lot. And then you're taking on the job of feeding a, a baby. It's, it's a lot. And depending if you have other children, you also have to take care of. It is a lot. And so that's why support is so important. Um, the work that I have done for the past couple of years within lactation, um, the lactation field, it, it the most important thing, yes, lactation consultants and lactation professionals are helpful, but that support piece is so important. Having family and friends there to support you in your decision of whatever that is, whether it's breastfeeding exclusively, breastfeeding, you know, and supplementing or not even breastfeeding at all. That whole postpartum period after having a baby, it's a lot. And just having the right people in your corner, um, encouraging you and helping you through this time is just so important. And so I definitely back what the um, author writes here in, in, in this note about the importance of surrounding yourself with family and friends that are there to support you and love you through this very, very important and special time that also reaching out to a lactation professional if you do run, run into some challenges um, when it comes to breastfeeding. And if I'm honest, that's how I got into the lactation field because of the challenges I ran into with breastfeeding my oldest son. I didn't want other women, especially women that did look like me, to have to have to do it alone. Um, because there were times where I felt alone in my journey and and honestly, not knowing what to do <laughs> what to do and sometimes not making the the best choices. And I hope to make a video about my journeys. Um, when it comes to breastfeeding my three children and also my journey within the lactation field. But if you want to hear more stories like this, um, please remember to like and subscribe. I definitely plan to post some more um, children's books about breastfeeding. And I definitely will leave the links to this particular story in the description box and also will link in some of the other stories that I have already read about breastfeeding. And also, before I forget, I also have created a blog post of books that um, include more stories about animals, mammals um, that, of course, nurse their babies as well. So I also have that link in the description box as well. So you can check that out so you can see other stories that you can check out and look to see um you know, if you want to know more information and share and educate your children about breastfeeding by using books that also contain animals. Well, I hope to see you soon. And thanks again for stopping by.